Hey guys, this is Kelly. Um, this video will be on WrestleMania 28, which I just got done watching. I've watched all the matches. Um, the one that I was most interested in, and I'm going to go randomly talking about random matches that I saw in no particular order. One that really had me on the edge of my seat was Taker versus Triple H, Hell in a Cell match, Street versus, you know, Career or something, whatever it was. The last outlaw standing, and Taker got it. For a few, during the match, I didn't think Taker was going to get it because, you know, he was beaten with the chair so many times and Sean's trying to do what he thinks is right by, you know, not getting his ass kicked, even though he was locked in a hell, in the uh, Hell's Gate, briefly. Um, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to be able to walk out of there like he was, you know, did last year. He Last year, he wasn't able to walk out on his own. Instead of it being Taker, it was Triple H that couldn't walk out on his own. He had to have help. So, you know, I'm glad Taker's 20-0. I don't know if his body can sustain having matches like this because he's not as young as he used to be. And it's, it's, it surprises me that he's still able to walk on his own two feet. Um, Big Show versus Cody Rhodes. Now this was this this was great. I mean, he, Big Show tried to make Cody Rhodes look good. I mean, Cody. I thought Cody had him at certain times, but eventually. Sorry, eventually, you know, Big Show had Cody's number, and Big Show eventually became Intercontinental Champion. Um, Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. Now, this was a quick match. This wasn't, like, 15 to 10 minutes. It was, like, more than, a, you know, less than 20 seconds or 30 seconds. It was real quick. And it was fast, which I don't have to hear him say yes, 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 over and over again for a while unless he decides, they decide to have him win it back at another pay-per-view. By any chance, um, uh, Cam versus Orton. This was a great match, but you could tell that Randy Orton had a lot of trouble doing certain things, and he was in a lot of pain. So, I think you know it's not going to be a retire. What well, I thought it was going to be a retirement match, but I think now that Kane has beaten Orton, Orton's going to take a few like a month or two off just to heal from injuries because he, he wasn't I think he came back too quick from the herniated disc that he had well, excuse me sorry I'm tired um Kelly Kelly and Marina Menounos versus Beth and Eve Torres this is great I mean Beth had a lot of stamina and was very active and very on point you know I wish that it could have worked out better I mean it was a great match I just wish I could have seen more of Kelly Kelly work it was like too quick for me and you know Maria being injured having cracked ribs I was surprised she was able to do the match um Team Johnny versus Team Teddy. I really wanted Teddy's team to win this match, but you know, I don't know. I I I don't know what they're gonna do with the storyline. I don't know if they're gonna make uh, Laura and I uh, still remain the heel, or you know, turn a face or whatever, or have Teddy go all you know, go berserk and get all pissed and shit, you know. I really wish they didn't bring Eve into it. I know that this was planned, but I really wish Eve wasn't involved in it, you know, because she is a heel. And she is a bitch, so yeah, that's expected. But, um, um, what else was there? There was The Rock versus John Cena. Now, this was like, another great match. This, this, I was expecting Cena to win because Cena looked like he had the upper hand throughout most of the match and he, he looked great and I think 
Now that The Rock has finally beat Cena, I think Cena's finally going to use that against the WWE Universe. Have have Cena turn heel because he's been faced for so long. Um, you know, because he didn't look too happy, and The Rock was just glad it was over. <sighs> CM Punk versus Jericho. Now, this was a, there were three great matches. It was The Rock versus Cena, Triple H versus Taker, Hell in the Cell, and CM Punk versus Jericho. Now, I thought Jericho was going to have the upper hand because he kept egging him on. And CM Punk was all, you know, getting all pissed and wanted to hit him with the chair. And he kept, you know, getting threatened to get disqualified. And he just finally, you know, quit. And then came back and did the, uh, the Anaconda Vice submission maneuver. And... Jericho finally submitted. Now, if you were to ask me how good this was, this was great. I could have done without the musical aspects of it, but it is WrestleMania. I will give it a 9 out of 10. That's how good it is. Okay, that's my point of view for now. If you want to go ahead, share yours, go ahead. This is just my point of view, not yours, but mine. So please feel free to share yours, okay? Alright, that's it for now.